Hey y'all, welcome back to B-Rag Garage. We got a, uh, got just something, we're just cleaning something up today, but anyway, this hitch came with the Jeep um, when I bought it a little while ago. And uh, I mean, it's in great shape, but it was already uh, in the receiver. And as you can tell, she's got a little bit of rust on her. Now, down here in Texas, we're pretty lucky. Um, I know there's plenty of y'all that wouldn't call that rust and you know, I totally get that. But I don't know if I'm just gonna cheat and not take the ball off or anything. I, I think really for right now, I'm gonna take a look at it. Um, it seems to be mostly kind of heavy surface. I think we'll hit it with the old 60 grit first and we've got one of these little wire wheels on my, uh, on my drill. Now, if you are using these, these little things, man, they like to just shoot out like little missiles um so if you got eye protection make sure you got that on i uh i have these gloves on not necessarily not necessarily protection from those but rusty stuff man rust just gets everywhere it's already on these gloves i haven't had them on five minutes but anyway i think we'll uh we'll just kind of take a little time on this see uh see if we can get it cleaned up a little bit maybe put a coat of paint on it i don't know i've had uh times in the past when I've done that and the paint's been too thick sometimes the uh, clearance and the tolerance is so tight on these but maybe if we sand off some material I don't know no did a great job tearing that that's nice and straight there huh yeah <laughs> oh man well anyway um, I'll shut my app I'm basically just gonna spend some time um, all over my glove dad gummit man you probably can tell from looking at these, but I've reused these. I think it's about the second time I've used these. These things are getting to be so dang high, man. I just, I can't give them away um, after one use. But, I don't know. I'll just leave it. Doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll hit this with some sandpaper like Sal Hush, and we'll see what we can't get into here. That's great. That'll work for me just right. I'm gonna come back a little bit, smoothing out for sure. Even this dollar store 60 is pretty dang serious. Definitely doesn't last as long as if you had a good sheet, but sandpaper is something that's gonna get destroyed anyway. So. might be helpful down in these little area here. Uh, it might hit right there. Uh, I won't say buffing, but it's definitely not as aggressive as the 60, obviously. Uh, could have to do with my drill speed. That's just my, uh, my portable hammer drill, but it might be nice to get in some of these weird little spots where it's hard to get your hands. So we'll uh, we'll keep on hammering on it and see what we can do here. Okay, it's doing something. It stinks like when that like when rust gets hot, kind of melts or burns. Um, yeah, definitely doing something. Just not as aggressive, which again, understandable. Let's see what we can do here. I do want to take off some material here because it barely came out of there. Barely came out of the receiver hitch. I feel like I should clarify. You're probably like, came out of where, Brad? See, man, should have put that glove on. Well, it's already dirty now. So. something i feel like maybe this is a good combo of just really being rough and knocking off some stuff and then that kind of cleaning it up a little bit I 
wish I had a little vice for this table. Um, you can probably tell I'm really having to hold on to this thing. It wants to just walk off. Um, obviously, it wants to run the way that it's spinning. So I'm spinning clockwise. I want to take off that way and move this. So I just hadn't got around to getting one yet. The uh, little ones are semi-affordable, but they don't do as much. But I don't need some big honking, you know, metal working vice that I'm not actually going to use. So we'll, uh, we'll figure it out sometime down the line. qualifies as ASMR. It's not really the most relaxing sound in the world. I'll uh, probably speed this up. That way you can just see that it's about the time it takes. I'll just kind of speed it up maybe two times or so. But uh, we're definitely doing something. I'm also wondering about maybe just spraying that with a rust a rust primer. You know, just a, like a one of the red or gray or black rust primers. We'll, uh, we'll see. Definitely does not like to be held down. It wants to climb up, so it seems to work better moving upward or away, since that's the way it's spinning. And it stuff stinks. little light show going that's kind of cool don't know if that showed up on the camera or not but it's actually flickering some little sparks I'll definitely hit the high points let's uh let's go out there and make sure it slides into that uh that receiver hitch real smooth a little dark out here y'all let's see what we got here Definitely got no slop in it for uh, for us to put some paint on it. Good deal. We're definitely doing something. Awesome. Let's look at that name. We got a Brophy. Huh. Interesting. All right. Looks like we're doing something, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. Bump that light. Um, yeah, there's definitely plenty of play in here. This is not a tightened up tolerance where we're going to be hurt by any sort of uh, um, any sort of hitch or anything like that. Any kind of any kind of tightness. So. We'll, uh, we'll be able to paint that for sure. I'm going to keep going on it, clean it up like for real. Um, but yeah, I might just hit it with like some rust primer or something. I did notice out there this Brophy 750 tongue weight, 7500 gross weight. Fairly certain the old TJ can't tow that much. But uh, oh, I'll replace my glove with another, you know, second or third use. This bad boy's finally in the trash. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on hacking on this a little bit, and we'll see uh, what we can end up with. Paint it; it's gonna get immediately messed up as soon as it gets used once. But we'll have to think about that. I. Uh, Really don't want to take that off. I know I'm being lazy, y'all, but the trailers I have are two inch anyway, so I'm not gonna lie, I just don't want to go through the work. But uh anyway, I'll quit yapping, let's get back to it. I 
know if y'all can hear that drill bogging down, but when I really lean into it and it kind of changes noises and sounds, it's really kind of working and getting deep in there. So if it's spinning this way, it's gonna wanna throw those hairs off of there this way, that way. So don't be on this side of it, try to be behind it. Um, really don't be on any side of it, but you definitely don't wanna be on the side where the force of the wheel, the struggle force is gonna wanna throw it out. So just kind of watch yourself and be careful. out a little bit but it's a lot better than hand sanding um i do have a little small oscillating sander but i mean it's a it's hard to freight and it wasn't great when it was new so other than these big wide open spots it wouldn't be that much use and i don't think y'all want to listen to that thing it is a ridiculously ugly noise um yeah so we'll just keep at it i guess let's shine right up kind of crazy i get lucky on the other parts of it Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Man, that rust stinks. Ugh. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know if y'all can kind of see the difference there or not, but uh, comparatively, that's pretty dang shiny. Um, see what it does on the actual ball. Right? I never thought that would happen. Okay, on the parts where there's still some chrome left and been knocked off or chipped off, it actually works pretty good because this is a little more like an aggressive buffing type action it's not like the the 60 grit just like digging in and working hard so so we can't get here So it does work pretty good, a little brass wire wheel. Um, got it from Harbor Freight. There's also cup brushes. They like come out, like uh, kind of look like the part on your vacuum that has the bristles on it. They look like that. They uh, they work good on like round things or like something like this. They're around it, like actually cutting on the inside. Pretty neat. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's still just, you know, some good old elbow grease. We'll, uh, I'm gonna finish this up, cut, uh, cut this off. I think y'all probably seen enough of this. I'll spend a little more time on it and maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe wipe it down with WD-40 or something, or, well, no, it's probably not great for the, uh, for the paint. We'll, uh, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's just get after this, see what we can't end up with. You know, y'all realized I was whining about not having a, uh, a bench vise or anything like that, but it won't work with everything, but like this, took it out to the Jeep, slid it about this far into the, uh, receiver hitch. Well, actually I went about halfway and I was really able to kind of lean on this thing because um, couldn't really go anywhere. So, you know, didn't have the right tool, but that didn't mean you can't get the job done. So, um, was going to film a little bit of that, got a little dark on y'all and I figured y'all had seen enough sand and I figured me telling y'all that I put it in the receiver hitch was good enough. So, um, yeah, I think I might uh, wipe this off at least and then maybe wipe it down with something. I don't think it's gonna surface rust in the amount of time till we paint it, but uh, you never know. So I think the first thing we'll do, I'll just get one of these semi-clean rags and wipe it down. I 
and this stuff is all over the table. I don't know if y'all can tell. Uh, it's a little bit funky in there. I don't know if I want to try and do anything about that or not. What I would do about that. All right, y'all. Um, pretty good bit of rust over here we knocked out. Uh, it looks pretty darn good. I, uh, I did think better, made the right choice. Discretion's a better part of Valor. Decided not to coat this, so it might look kind of cool, but be another thing I have to clean off to paint and this and that. Um, I do think we might go wild color, just some wild bright color. Um, I think I got some crazy fluorescent green or something. We'll, we'll see. But uh, anyway, I did spend a little bit of time on the hitch and the hitch pin, which again, probably gonna replace this. It's bent and everything, but for now, um, I've wiped it down with, yes, of course, an old sock, because, you know, that's how we roll around here. Um, and I thought, man, it might be kind of cool to just put a little oil on it and kind of see they're the same material, basically, about the same level of, uh, of wear and rust. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on said sock here, wipe this down and see. I guess kind of what I'm thinking is, is this kind of what it would look like with a, uh, with like a clear coat or, you know, and this is knocking off more of that rust. I'll show y'all here in a second. Let me kind of wipe this down. So this was just me dry wiping it off. And this is from putting the three and one oil on it. So it's clearly grabbing even more of that, of that rust. And I'm sure this old metal's pretty porous so it'll probably soak in here pretty quick but anyway that's uh it's pretty cool definitely a lot darker i don't know how much you can tell um the difference there but it's pretty cool actually now it just looks like an old something that's been used instead of something that's been beat up and uh i guess i kind of lucked out this uh i knew this felt pretty heavy i looked up this brophy brand um Looks like these are their lower end, the uh, 7,500 or um, to 10,000, I think is the range. But I saw them anywhere from 75 to like 100 bucks for one of these hitches. So that's pretty cool, man. Looks like it's a U.S. manufacturer and pretty uh, pretty neat deal. So yeah, I'm gonna keep from from wiping this down, man. I really want to, but then that's just gonna be a film on there. We'd have to knock off again to uh, to paint. So yeah, I think. Uh, I think this is looking pretty sharp, man. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, we got a complete setup again. Fits in the Jeep easily, no problems there. So it'll be no problem to uh, to get the uh, get the paint on there. It's not gonna affect the use at all. So all right, appreciate y'all. Guess the next step is uh, put some paint on this. Y'all get to see just how bad I am at painting stuff. I mean, negative good. <laughs> all right, y'all. As you can see. We're still not painted, and we'll, uh, we'll get to that apparatus in a second. So I was looking at this. Oh, man, what that sure is just, like, dirty and kind of rusty, but I don't know if I can sandpaper, etc. cetera. So uh, a piece of sandpaper we've been using. Took a piece of junk mail, a letter, rolled it up, rolled this around it, taped it to itself, and took another piece of tape and taped it to this piece of quarter-inch all thread. It's all galled up on the end and it's all cut and bent at an angle here. So the idea is um, really just we're going for better than nothing, right? We got a little bit of spin here. Oh yeah, that's ridiculous. This hard to this be interesting. Um, but yeah, so probably shouldn't go down. Let me go this way, see if we can just kind of bounce around the sides and do something. Bottom out here. Oh, happening. Oh. Okay. Well, what do you know? All thread is not supposed to be chucked into a drill. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. I'm really just relying on revolutions on RPMs. Uh, there's no force here. Like I say, I'm just I'm really going for better than nothing. Holy moly. Picking stuff out. We're doing something, y'all. See that? It'd be ridiculous, but I think it's halfway worth it. What we got here? We're doing something, y'all. 
Oh yeah, we got rust smoke just flying out of there. No, it's not smoke, but all right, heck yeah. Oh wow, okay. I know y'all didn't see that, but that was a lot. Well, this may be worth doing a couple more times. We might have found something to do here, y'all. Oh, coming out of the end here. Oh, lost all our stickiness. Let me re uh, let me rethink this here, and we'll come back to this. This is this is fun. Hold on. All right, y'all, back in business. So a little bit extra duct tape. You know, more more is better. Um, this is kind of protruding out a little bit, but not not going to be too bad. This is really like a pile of dirt and rust, y'all. So I mean, we've done something for sure. So I'm just going to go back in here again. Revolutions, not I'm not grinding like pushing on anything, and uh, we're in kind of a closed space. So even if this falls apart, it's just uh, sandpaper and uh, sandpaper and regular paper. And this all thread is not like rated for anything, obviously, but I don't think it's gonna fall apart with what we're doing here. So we got the big stuff out. So ah, so we're not staying, not staying down here. I mean, that's to be expected. I didn't put anything on the end because I wanted the uh, ability to go down to the bottom. But it, I probably should have put a piece of duct tape or something around it. But all in all, for something so silly, it actually worked pretty good. Let's see, might need my old thread now. down here still pouring stuff out sorry y'all y'all probably couldn't see that I'm just kind of wiping this out with this towel just kind of knocking out stuff better I mean not perfect but definitely better so yeah so now we've got it cleaned up wiped off at least knocked out the bad stuff from in here um, I guess the next thing you do is think about if we want to just clear coat this and have it look like this or make it some wildly obnoxious color I do have this uh, this crazy like gloss green we might do something kind of stands out so you're not gonna run into it well uh we'll see but uh this is where we're at I think on getting ready to go it'd be serviceable and usable right now so next step is going to be paint so i guess we'll get to that next well y'all we're still not painted and i'm telling myself it's because i had kind of a hopefully useful but also something i've never done before um thought about how much play was in there i knew there was enough room for the paint but then it was actually kind of banging around you know they've got those um anti-rattle they're like a saddle here with a bolt and they press up against to keep it from shaking around but i thought what if we made up a little bit of a gap because this is not going to stay in the hitch so i know this will peel off after a certain amount of time or whatever but i thought maybe we just start back here wrap it around two sides and it might accidentally help me keep some of the uh dirt and stuff out of the inside i don't know but uh figure what the heck why not you know and if it if it helps with the vibration again it won't last forever the tape's going to come off and it'll get torn or whatever but at the same time if it helps with the vibration then that's got to be a good thing right let's go here
guess if you really wanted to, you could wrap around here as well. But this is a little bit of a proof of concept as well. So let's see what we got here. So I take this here. Set down. When I'm doing making this uh, center punch hole here, then I'm kind of able to lay this down on the inside. I mean, that's slightly less loud. So, we'll uh, go outside and slap it on there. That'd probably be the the last test here to make sure everything fits and again i know this isn't permanent and uh but if it helps with some of that rattle some of that noise that'll be something so um we'll have to peel it off if we want to paint and clean it up but we have to do a little bit of cleaning anyway to really get a good paint job to stick so i figure it's worth a shot you uh it never hurts to find another use for duct tape right let's go out there and test it oh um, that'll probably be the last part we do here if it works so uh i appreciate y'all watching as always man i enjoy doing this stuff hope y'all do too uh hope y'all enjoy getting out in your garage and doing things and hope you get a kick out of uh all the stuff that we mess around and do out here thanks again y'all don't forget get out there and make it be red i know we're outside and whatnot but this would be the same type of metal um kind of hitting against here and that's with no force that's just kind of tapping in there let's see here it's just fine. Pan through. So you still got womp womp, you know. Especially top to bottom. But left to right, it's not too bad. Not a uh, not a lot of noise. Top to bottom, still got some, but uh, that's to be expected. So all in all, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Glad we got it back going again. Got it cleaned up, but we'll probably shoot a coat of paint on it another day. See what happens. Appreciate y'all watching, as always.